schedule for more on this, let's turn to Kerevan, Kerevan Gorgistani, our Washington, D.C. Uh, correspondent. Kerevan, thanks for joining us. Uh, first off, the U.S. confirming what had been uh, reported earlier, direct sanctions applied to Putin himself, as well as uh, Lavrov and Shoigu. Uh, what are they hoping uh, from this uh, to, to achieve with this latest round of sanctions? Well, the White House uh, doesn't really uh, put it that way, but it is uh, clear that this is more of a, a symbolic move to show that they are uh, directly hitting at uh, the Russian uh, president, as well as his foreign minister and uh, several other uh, members of uh, the government. It's, uh, it's meant to uh, be a, uh, a financial sanction, but it is really uh, the message that it sends. Uh, the uh, press secretary, Jen Psaki, uh, said that it sends a clear message about the strength of the opposition to Putin, Putin's uh, sanctions. Now, uh, the United States uh, really uh, decided uh, this uh, overnight. That's what the press secretary said, that Joe Biden, in coordination and in discussions with uh, the allies, uh, basically decided this over the past 24 hours and went ahead and announced uh, those uh, sanctions, sanctions that uh, mean that uh, the, the assets of uh, the president of Russia and uh, these other officials that are sanctioned, their assets are uh, frozen, whether they're in the U.S. or uh, whether they're held by any U.S. entity. Also uh, sanctioned and blocked are companies that are owned uh, at least at 50 percent uh, by any of the people on that sanctions uh, list. Uh, now, there is one uh, slight difference uh, between uh, the sanctions announced by the U.S. and by the EU. The EU uh, not going with the travel ban, with the visa restrictions. Uh, the United States, at least according to the press secretary, is expected uh, to make that move and to prevent, to prohibit uh, the uh, Russian president and uh, these other officials uh, from uh, traveling uh, to the United States. And I'll note uh, one last thing in the statement from the uh, Treasury Department announcing those uh, sanctions on Vladimir Putin and Sergei uh, Lavrov uh, said that President Putin joins a very small group that includes despots such as Kim Jong-un, Alexander Lukashenko and Bashar al-Assad. So we know that uh, Ukraine is asking for even more uh, tough sanctions against uh, against uh, Russia. But there's uh, what I want to know here is uh, what about in the United States uh, uh, political uh, sphere? Is there is there any kind of consensus as to as to what the U.S. should do with regards to Ukraine? Uh, what's that like between Democrats and Republicans? Well, overall, uh, Democrats and Republicans are pretty united when it comes uh, to sanctioning uh, Russia. And it's uh, rare enough in Washington uh, these days uh, to be noted. They uh, were uh, pretty aligned on uh, the need to sanction Russia. Uh, the disagreement is really uh, was really over when to implement uh, sanctions and now over how uh, far to go uh, with the sanctions. Uh, before uh, the invasion, uh, the Republicans had been trying to push uh, for preemptive sanctions even before a Russian invasion. And uh, the de Democrats were more aligned with the Biden administration saying that, no, we need to keep those sanctions as a sort of a deterrent against a Russian invasion. Uh, the uh, Congress failing to get together to write a bill uh, to uh, that was supposed to be, in their words, the mother of all sanction, but that uh, didn't work out because of that disagreement on uh, timing. And uh, now the uh, disagreement seems to have uh, sort of evaporated giving, uh, given the circumstances, and you uh, see quite a bit of alignment, but you see, of course, uh, the Republicans being more vocal about it because it allows them to criticize the Biden administration, uh, but the Republicans really calling for more sanctions, harsher uh, sanctions, and also saying uh, that basically these sanctions should have been happening, should have happened uh, way earlier, and now they're pushing the Biden administration to go forward and to keep uh, implementing more and more of uh, these sanctions. But that's really where uh, the disagreement is. Overall, uh, the idea in this case is to punish Russia as much as is possible for the U.S. president. Kerevan Gorgistani reporting there from Washington, D.C.